in How Rude News, Rude. submitted by Glass Half Full, a oh. woman was stunned after her boss asked her to shave her legs. Oh, I thought she was stung by a bee. Oh, stunned. That sounds reasonable. What? Yeah. Yeah, what? she works at the strip club, you know, it's kind of <laughs> fucked. No, Some people like that shit. Oh, really? Oh, there's a hair is caught on a stripper pole? Yeah, but how? They don't get caught. Wait, do strippers wrong? have bosses? Yeah. They're yeah, bosses. it's a job. Yeah, it's called the mafia. Oh, well. I thought it was the strip master. The strip master. <laughs> the strip master controls the strippers. I get it though, if you got dangly leg hair or some shit, that's distracting. Well, what if you just work at fucking Target and like you yeah. wear slacks? So you like- Well, then that's hair. fine. But if you got them out, and I gotta see it, and you're a woolly mammoth, <laughs> I don't think so. It's offensive. I'm no, offended. it's not. I'm offended. Nope. I'm offended. No, I'm offended. Let me hear the story. Let me hear- Oh, you're saying that we, like, what about your legs? Do you guys Listen, shave your legs? You, you guys are here for my visual pleasure. <laughs> Okay. And so if I'm looking at you and I'm not seeing like your best, no thank you. Yep. That's all I gotta say. That's right. They should put a law on that. Yeah, they should. They should make it illegal. It used to be institutionalized, but that's getting fucked with. Oh man. <laughs> Alright, so this story is an Eta. Am I the asshole? That subreddit? Oh. oh. Subreddit. I love that yeah. one. So this one is titled, Am I the asshole for not shaving my legs for work? So here we go. It says, so I'm a 21 year old female. I feel like I should say these things about myself because these are usually what people ask or say when they found out when they find out I rarely shave my legs. I'm straight, I'm very feminine, and I just don't like to waste my time or money on shaving my legs. Also, I'm not a hairy person at all. You can barely see my leg hair, arm hair, or even my goddamn eyebrows. I'll be the I'll judge, judge of that as well. <laughs> that, that's, that's not always true. Harry is relative. Um, okay, the only time I shave is when I'm dating a new guy in my life and I've been with my current boyfriend for three years now. Also, he doesn't give a rat's ass if I shave my legs. So Let's ask him. So, <laughs> so I work for a promotion company where I travel and work at events mm -hmm. and festivals. Mm -hmm. Uh, but today I had to go into the office to grab some materials and my boss was it was there in his office So I stopped to say hi before I left out when I ducked in he awkwardly asked me if we could talk about something I said sure oh and God. came in and he shut the door He was so red and stuttering, but finally he told me it's pretty needed, embarrassing. We needed to speak about hygiene I was in literal shock I was so embarrassed and asked him what he meant. My boss then proceeded to tell me that a few people complained I didn't shave my legs and they said it went against comp company policy that I wasn't being hygienic. I was even more shocked. I told him I didn't understand what to what that had to do with me shaving my legs and he was just absolutely quiet. I asked him if he shaved his legs and he still said nothing. I then stood oh, up and said- bitch. Well, he's a man, he doesn't need to shave his legs. Keep going. <laughs> I then stood up and said, if we were gonna keep talking about this, I'd prefer HR to be there and he just told me that we didn't need to discuss it any further. Later today, I just got an email from <clears throat> HR saying that they would like to set up a meeting for next week to talk further about the discussion that happened today. I'm freaking out and it's making me so anxious. Am I the asshole for not shaving my legs for my job? And then it says, edit. So people giving my boss hate, I understand, but I'm not mad at him and, I, and don't blame him. I'm not sure if I feel like someone was in fact pressuring him to talk to me but about this because he is he is usually very chill and is a nice guy who usually doesn't even force dress code and stuff. But also, I really have no clue what he, what really brought this on all of a sudden since I've worked there for eight months with no incident. Because for eight months, people have been just enduring the hairy ass legs and they couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> it's a biohazard. Right? They're like, I can't take this shit no more. Uh, I gotta fucking tell HR about this. Her stuff. hair does not grow in that much, guys. How would people notice even? Cause she's, wor she's working at Hooters and she's wearing short shorts. Oh wait, but they wear leggings. So it's not Hooters. It's not Hooters, it's she just says She's an event planner. Yeah. At Hooters. Events and festivals. <laughs> she oh, I thought it was the catering company for Hooters. She's like one of the monster what? girls or something. Mm. You know what I mean? She'll like bring cans out to bring to people, Cause right? Cause it is a promotion, a promotion so, company. Dude, that makes total sense. Day? Those people are your company when they're out, when you're out and about. So if they see hairy legs on you, and you're so like, she made me vomit. And I'm over here trying to get horny. Yeah. What's up? Yeah, usually the girls are who get those jobs are like really hot. Mm -hmm. Always. They're like girls. fitness models. A lot yep. of fitness models will get those jobs. 
Like sometimes they get pregnant and then they get fired after. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Yo, those kinds of jobs. Those kind of. Could you imagine jobs. being yeah. at like a really like hip music festival and the monster girl handing it out? It's just like eight months. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and she's like doing the shuffle or whatever they do. <laughs> I know. Whatever oh, they do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. But, but she needs uh, job security too, you guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So people in the comments, they were saying things like, well, you know, uh, oh, because people were like, wow, this is so sexist. They wouldn't tell guys to do the same thing. Because they're picturing like a very like corporate office kind of setting. Mm-hmm. They're also not picturing very hairy legs. For like, a guy? On a guy? No, no, no. Like, it's, it's like, well, first of all, like, I want to see her legs and how hairy they are. Because if it's just peach fuzz, I'm like, yeah, he's tripping. But if right. it's like my hair, then I'm like, man, maybe it's not a good idea to do this for this promotion company. But if people notice it, then you, it's there. It's probably there. It probably looks like mustache hair on the legs. Mm-hmm. Gross. <laughs> so then people were saying, well, you know, if you do work in a corporate office workplace, they do have dress code and. Guys, you never see guys wear shorts. Mm -hmm. So male leg hair isn't even an issue because it's not even seen if they're following the dress code. But women, well, in a corporate setting then, women can't show their bare legs anyway. If if they're gonna wear a skirt, it's usually like Mm -hmm. uh, below the knee and you have to wear nylons or stockings with it. So that doesn't even matter. But if you ever fly Southwest, then the guys do wear shorts sometimes. Do they? And you see the leg hairs and then sometimes that's kind of yucky too. Or UPS guys. You they got the best calves though. Yeah, they do. All the time. <laughs> They're always fat guys with really nice calves. All the guys time. get yeah. uh, grooming rules too, like for some companies, your facial hair and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So. Or your earwax has to be inside your ear. Yeah. Ew. Mm-hmm. I don't know, I feel like if it wasn't part of her job description, like let's say all she's doing is passing out flyers, and then they call her out on that, I'm like, that's pretty fucked up. Um, also, if it's not like, you know when you get interviewed and you pass whatever the fuck that's called and they hire you, uh, and you sign all that paperwork, if it's not in there too, like, it's not But well, what if she shaved before her interview and it wasn't a real description of what her legs are like? She honeypotted them. Mm-hmm. So after she just let herself go mm-hmm. after the eight months, and it's like, man, can't put up with that for what long. What happened? <laughs> when I met you, you weren't that furry. I don't know. Hair bother you? No, I'm just. I like to enjoy jokes. <laughs> Same. Does hair yeah. bother you, Steve? No, I actually don't. Uh, honestly, care. no. But uh, I can't. Honestly, imagine. no. Nikki, honestly, no, no. But if Nikki had like super hairy legs, I think that'd be weird for but me. When you wait, what? Most? So that means it do, you, it does bother you. Well, I've never seen it, so it's not like. I don't know, I've never seen her legs get n- good nuts or anything. But like most lady hair though, it's never as disgusting as <clears throat> man hair. Like no way. when girls get, when they're like, oh my God, I'm, I'm so furry. And I'm like, what are you shit. talking about? Yeah, it doesn't look like pubic hair on your That's fucking just leg. just nuts, bro. You know, it, it's just, it's kind of cute. It's just a little bit of fur there. She it's might like, be yeah. blonde too. Yeah, yeah. Blonde girls who have really fair hair, you can't even you can't see. Even like my friend, she like hardly ever shaves her legs, but you wouldn't be able to tell unless you like, are there the suns behind them? And then you can see like all yeah. so the whole thing's I'm glowing. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> and I heard that it's a trend like in Brazil or whatever for ladies to bleach their hair and instead of shaving every day or something. So I don't know. I don't think she's. Yeah, to me, I don't really care. I think like it shouldn't be a big yeah, deal. It's what a, about it's, armpit hair? Yeah, if girls want to keep their armpit hair. They want to keep their mustache. That's they want to keep the leg hair. Ar- I think armpit pretty, hair is pretty nuts. It is pretty nuts. Pretty but nuts. I feel like the like question is like, what kind of job are? Because if she was a stripper and like I ran a strip club. You did? did? I, if I did. Oh. If. <laughs> Maybe one day. Like, but it's like, I feel like if it were my club, I would be able to say, have, this might sound bad, have some control over like grooming and like have some specific standard. Where it's like, if she's always seeing people and like part of her job is being a hot chick. Mm hmm. Then that's true. Can you though? Like, there's a dress code. Only, there is a dress so, code, like, but I think you're... what she's talking about is is like what's now more uh, appealing, more attractive. No, I think I don't. I don't. Like, I don't. I'm, I'm viewing it in a way where it's a dress code. So if you're a Playboy bunny at the Playboy Mansion, you yeah. have to wear the bunny ears, right? Yeah. yeah. You have to be a rabbit. Yeah, well that's but a what if, that's, what if you don't that's a identify uniform, as a rabbit. Okay. Yeah. That's what if she comes in okay. as an iguana and you're like, yo, this is not the iguana <laughs> mansion. This is the Playboy. The Playboy mansion. bunny has a unibrow. That, right. that disrespects my brand. <laughs> but then how do you yeah. state that without without getting in trouble with the law, right? Because yeah. what he's I say respectfully, uniform. please shave your unibrow. Yeah. But I say that with all due and respect. You have that's the PowerPoint hard. presentation so with what fetish for that like. stuff too that you're trying to cater to. Then the hustler could pick it up. Th- that, then that fetish place, yeah, the fetish place has their own dress code. I, just, I, I guess, but like, I, or at least my point that I'm taking from uh, what Meg uh, just said is like, 
how do you tell someone like I guess they masked it under hygiene, right? Like let's say I'm running a strip club as well. Um, there's a lot of strip clubs in this scenario. <laughs> they should just call it dress code and not mask it under anything yeah. and be upfront. Yeah, up but front. then if I go, oh, okay, so I'm like, part of the uniform is you have to have your armpit shaved, you have to I'm show amazing. like six inches yeah. of, of fucking yeah. cleavage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, that's like, like the cops, uniform. they can grow a mustache, right? But then the mustache, for some reason, can't go past like the upper lip. But they, it's all okay, in the regulations. Went down, but okay. Oh yeah, they can't go past here. <laughs> okay. So yeah. they, unless you're undercover, then you can now do whatever you yeah. want. But there's like a very specific yeah. rules down all the way down. And even oh. Disney's hell of strict like yeah. that too. I yeah. remember I was trying to get a job there, and they were strict about what kind of like, color nail polish mm -hmm. you had. Oh wow. And even like yeah. types of earrings that you so would. Then wear. I guess they can color on she's ass. Yeah, and like yeah. hair what color if, too. What if we're doing JK News and person sitting next to you smells super bad? Mm. That you're gonna have a problem. Doing yeah. the videos and being productive and getting shit done. It's difficult when someone stinks smells bad. and they smell so bad to the point where you vomit because one time you smelled them. That's, See, that would be bad. Yeah, that's really bad. Yeah, how do you address that? that how do you fix that? It is a it is an awkward com conversation to have because it's like, how do you even tell someone that they stink? And you care about them, you like them, but like having a whole meeting where you sit down with them, you say, hey, bro, like, you fucking stink. I don't think that's the way you should do it. You shouldn't, but that's what you want to say, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, all right, this might, I'm trying to be as nice as possible because, like, we all care about you. How do you bring that up, dude? So, how do you, how, I mean, how do you bring it up? How do you bring it up that, like, you care about this person, they smell like shit. Mm -hmm. They've been, people have been complaining about them for the last, like, year. Um, it's an awkward conversation to have. But the, but, but the other problem is they don't believe they smell like shit. I think you gotta be a buddy and go, hey, uh, I think we should take a shower together. <laughs> Yeah, so you gotta do. Yeah, I am better. curious how they shower. <laughs> I am so fucking curious. That, just, if you don't know how to talk to your staff, then that means you have a really shitty relationship with them. Yeah, because because yeah. it, it should be something where I'm comfortable enough to like I'm so involved with my staff that I'm just gonna be like, hey, can we just go get some food or whatever, and then. And let's talk about how you stank over some yeah. fucking sandwiches. Yeah, I mean, but how do you bring you had, it up, girl? Let's say, a, let's say you had a staff. He always had a crusty jizz stain on the side of his thigh. Yep. I'm, I will bring you it could up. Bring it, you could I would bring it up, yeah, because say, I care about them. Okay, I'm Alan. I always and you care about your business, ultimately. Well, I, so I care about them as a person, and I know that people are talking shit behind his back. Okay, so I have say, a, hey, you I'm know what? Alan. I have. You just care about the bottom line, that's all you care about. Yeah, yeah, all, yeah, for sure. If you really cared about his feelings, you wouldn't even do anything. You would let him keep his jizz stain. <laughs> <laughs> if I, well, I have to find out if he's passionate about it. That's true. So or if it's religious. About it, like, what if he's, he's like, this is my art? I'm gonna call all my staff and I'm gonna be like, hey, you know what? We gotta stop this fucking shit talking that we're doing. He's very proud of that gist day. Yeah. All right? We gotta respect the gist day. It's a morning ritual. He comes in his hands and he plants it on his pants. <laughs> <laughs> These are just hypotheticals. <laughs> <laughs>